the topic that I would like to explore today, which again, as I've said, is a topic that I have explored with you in the past. So this will not be new, but it's so important that uh, it's really, really worth revisiting is the topic of forgiveness. Um, I had an experience over the weekend that made this clearer to me that um, just how important uh, forgiveness is. And, and it's one of those things like the, these core lessons, forgiveness is one of them. Um, you probably could spend the rest of your life studying this and continue to receive richness from it. So it's not exactly like learning basic arithmetic where you say, okay, I've got it, you know, done with that. There's such a wealth when it comes to forgiveness that you, you'll go through stages most likely with it. You'll probably discover maybe perhaps today, you'll discover some new layer of forgiveness and you might think, wow, that I, now I've really got it. Now I understand it. And, and that's great. You know, it will serve you. Um, but then you will probably at some point encounter some other experience that will offer you the opportunity to learn yet another layer of forgiveness. And it's always so wonderful. Um, you know, it just keeps on getting richer and richer. And so just keep, being open to it and uh, it will really enrich your life. So uh, as I said, I had this experience over the weekend that uh, where I was feeling, you know, I felt a little, felt a little bit like off, a little slightly agitated. And I was thinking, what, you know, what is this about? What is this? What's going on? And I realized that, um, it was such a, it's just such a wonderful thing. It was such a wonderful thing because um, what, when I, when I really looked, what I saw was that I had, um, I had, I had subtly not been acting quite in alignment with my values. And that I was actually sort of on, uh, on, on a certain level, I was kind of upset with myself about that. Thinking, oh, you know, how could you, what's wrong with you? And, um, and so I realized, oh, wow, you know, here's this, yet again, forgiveness comes to, to the rescue. Um, so forgiveness is... Uh, as I said from the beginning, I think it's very much not understood by people. Um, and, and, and if you don't have the right understanding of forgiveness, then it's difficult to benefit from, from it. Because if you have the wrong understanding of forgiveness, then you're not so likely to uh, actually learn from it and put it into practice and therefore receive the benefits. You know, I, I think sometimes what happens is people think that they shouldn't forgive. They think that forgiveness will, will somehow uh, be problematic for them. Or they think that forgiveness is uh, a, a weakness. Or they think that forgiveness means that, uh, means like a disempowerment or uh, forgiveness is like condoning bad behavior or forgiveness means um, letting bad things just keep happening. So, uh, and I'm sure there are lots of other misunderstandings, but if you think about it, if those are the kinds of understandings that you have about forgiveness, then you're not likely to actually put it into practice and, and benefit from it. But, the benefits are enormous because the alternative, if you consider it, is that uh, you would not forgive. And if you don't forgive, then just think about what that experience is. So think about something that maybe you have not forgiven. 
maybe something where you have not forgiven somebody else for, or you haven't forgiven life for, or you haven't forgiven yourself for. And notice what that experience is. And for some of you, the thing might be relatively recent, right? You might say, well, I'm, you know, this thing that happened earlier today, I'm not forgiving myself for it because I really screwed up. Or, you know, I'm not forgiving my husband for this thing that he did yesterday because he doesn't, he doesn't deserve forgiveness because he really screwed up. Or, um, you know, could be like that. Or it could be something that's really kind of ancient, you might find that you're still holding on to things from how long ago. You know, I, I once had this realization, which was that, um, like, and this is crazy. It's absolutely insane, but it didn't occur to me that it was insane for a long time. So uh, I had a story at one time that, uh, that there, uh, there was something wrong with my birth that and that it was all caused by uh unconscious uncaring people who didn't do things properly and uh and and i, and I you know i was kind of upset about that now i say it's insane because i have no conscious memory of my birth experience but I had just come up with a story, which was that there were some people who did some did the wrong things, and that was bad and unforgivable. Um, and and then, you know, so so not only was I upset about something that I didn't even remember, but I was I was upset and not forgiving people about something that happened at the beginning of this lifetime, and I was carrying that around. So think about the things that you might be carrying around, whether you've been carrying them around for five minutes or five days or five years or five decades or however long it's been. And just notice what that experience is. And notice, uh, you know, if you just keep adding on more things that you don't forgive. It's a bit like uh, and I've used this metaphor before, but it's a bit as though you maybe have a sack. And you put rocks in the sack and then you sling it over your back and you just sort of carry that around. And at first, it's just one tiny little pebble and it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, you know. But after a while you've been carrying this sack with not just one pebble, but now it's like, you know, 20 pebbles, but you've been carrying it for every day for a while. And you start to notice a little bit, it's like, well, this is not feeling so great, but you try to put it out of your mind because you just tell yourself, well, this is just how life is. But then of course, then the big thing comes along. It's like the big rock, you put the big rock in there, and it's like, oh, now you're really lugging the thing around. And, um, and after a while, it's like, how many of those big rocks do you have in there? You got all the little pebbles, you know, it's like a thousand little pebbles and a thousand medium sized rocks. And then you've got like a, quite a few sizable hunks of stone in there. You can't even really lift it up anymore. You're just dragging it. Do you notice that a little bit? So when you do that, um, can you notice how, I mean, number one, it's kind of unpleasant. Number two, it limits your options. Think about it. You know, people say, hey, come, we're going to a party. And you're like, can I bring my sack? And they're like, no can't bring your sack. Well, I can't go then. Because I, I go everywhere with my sack of rocks. <laughs> but you can't even fit through most doorways with this, you know, the sack of rocks is so wide. You can't fit through most, most doorways. So you can't go to most parties. 
And you tell yourself, and, and it's probably true, most parties are not worth going to. But then on the other hand, there are those parties which maybe are worth going to. But you can't go to them because you got your sack of rocks that you're prioritizing, but you don't recognize or acknowledge that you're prioritizing it. You just tell yourself that that's how life is. So um, lack of forgiveness is like that. And it kind of creeps up on you. And most people are doing it, so you don't really notice. So the world is a lot like that. There's a lot of people who will tell you, don't forgive, and forgiveness is BS anyway, and, you know, it doesn't, won't help you, and it's not important, and there's not, you know, when, there's nothing wrong with you and your sack of rocks. Keep on dragging it around. Uh, you look good with your sack of rocks. And so you can get a lot of support for that kind of thing. Uh, but you could also just notice for yourself what's actually true for you. Is it working well for you to keep on holding on to those grievances and those resentments and all the stories about how you know, people have done things and you've done things and life has done things that are so terrible. And maybe they're not even all that terrible, but they're just a little bit terrible. Just terrible enough that you want to hold on to it because it's like you get some kind of some kind of sick thrill out of it. You know, like you can drag it out at the at the B camp or whatever it is, and you show it to people and like look at my story and they say, Oh wow, that's quite a story. But is it really worth it anymore? And my proposal is that it's not. It's really not. So uh, what my what I'm suggesting is that forgiveness is a powerful medicine that will um, transform your life when you start to work with it in very positive ways. It will open up doors for you that you didn't previously know existed, uh, opportunities that you didn't know were available for you. You will start to realize uh, that life can be something much richer, much more fulfilling than you had previously recognized.